1 Corinthians chapter 12. Back to our text, verse 18. Now, as, I, as we begin to explain this text a little bit, either this text will make you feel very defeated or it's gonna give you a breath of fresh air. But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. Now, what makes this so powerful is the Greek nuance to this word arranged, okay? It would have been understood by the Corinthian readers as God's own purpose. God's own purpose, that before the foundations of the earth, before the dawn of creation, he knew about you, and he chose you, and he chose you to do something great for him and for the body of Christ. That's a big deal. That means that whatever you have that you feel is so small and, and oh, you know, you mope around, I don't think that's gonna help anybody or whatever. No, it can. In fact, God is telling you it can. In fact, God said that he's empowered you from the beginning of time. He knew you, he knew your name, he knew the hairs on your head, he knew everything about your life, and he knew you would be good at that. And he wants you to use that for his name's sake. It's a good thing, it's loving, it's beautiful. This text can discourage you if you really feel that you've earned it all on your own. If you come to the table and you're like, you know what, Stephen, that's good and all. I did this on my own. I'm the one who went to school. I'm the one who put in those years of study. I'm the one who got good at what I'm doing. And I don't owe anything to anybody. Then I would like to tell you repentance is in order. Because what God is saying is no, 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 no. Everything, anyone who calls me Lord, earlier in the text, will understand this. Because you understand that Lord is above me, he's my master, he's my king, he's my savior, and there's nothing else I can do to measure up to him, and so he's given me grace by the cross to now be his. He's resurrected to reassure me of eternal life. There's nothing I can give to him, he's given to me. But if you feel, as a f close friend of mine, I remember telling me and my family, my parents, as they were sharing the gospel with him, he said, you know what, I've done everything on my own. I have nothing to owe to anybody. That's a dangerous place to be, but there is hope for you because if you repent, God says he's gonna forgive you. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, there is hope for transformation in your life. This includes your natural talent, the money you have in the bank, the education, cars, and family. It's all his, it's not yours. If you repent, you begin to hand over all of those things to him but most of all, the burden of your sin. But for a lot of us here that are in love, deeply in love with Jesus, understand the grace of Christ, this is a very hopeful verse because God wants you to use you in amazing ways. In fact, he's planned this gift from the very beginning, so don't waste it. Use your gift, you are needed here. And I can tell you what, you're needed more than ever because our community, San Juan County, this state, if you've looked at any of the recent both education numbers and, and health records of New Mexico, this, this state is crumbling, it's hurting. And God wants to use you in great ways and we need each other, especially now.